Welcome everybody. I'm at the Inkscape Hackfest in Germany and I am trying to do some in interviews with some of the developers that con con contribute to Inkscape. Um, here I'm joined by Thomas. Is that right? Yes, that's Excellent. right. Excellent. Um, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, hello, uh, I'm Thomas. I'm working on Inkscape uh, for a long time but was also with long breaks and I think my um, most significant comeback was in 2018, where I joined the Hackfest in Kiel, and I contributed to the um, macOS version of the 1.0 release. Um, yeah, but I also like to develop on on Linux um, whenever I can. Yeah, excellent. So, you, so you you've got multiple pl platform discipline. Yes, and you're um, able to contribute in multiple places. Yeah. Um, that was also um, in one of my previous jobs, like it was responsible for multiple platforms. So that helped a lot. Um, as I already mentioned, most comfortable is Linux and OS X, but I can also do Windows when needed. Yeah, um, yeah. So I really switch between. Yeah, so I, I, I believe that uh, for the 1.0, you also helped with the Windows builds, right? I did, yes. Yeah, yeah it was great. It really helped. Um, so what brought you to contributing to, to Inkscape? Um, First of all, I'm using Inkscape myself for drawing. Yeah. Um, and one primary application for me was, uh, or is still, um, drawing cave maps. So oh, yeah. it's somewhere between technical and artistic. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we, we map caves and then we draw them as vector graphics. And you do uh, printouts? We print them, yeah. yes, um, in like our club journals. Excellent. And, and yeah, um, I think a, a major fact why I started also hacking on the tool was that uh, the format is open source, like yeah. SVG itself, the is, SVG an, itself yeah. is an open format, um, which just enables in the first place uh, looking at the data and the more comfortable you are with the data, then the tool is the next step. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for the for, for format for Inkscape internally is SVG, and it's not just a file format that we export to, but one that we actually use internally, which means it's very easy to go from, you know, editing the file uh, in a script to hacking on Inkscape itself. Um, you start, you we get you with the extensions, and then eventually you're writing C++ code. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so during the last few years, you said that you were taking uh, some breaks. Have you been working on other open source projects? Uh, yes, I did. Um, so I, I think I joined Inkscape in like 2008. Um, so that's been a while. So I was a student at the time. It's five years? Um, 2008. Oh, 2015 years. Uh, yes. yes. And sorry, then in sorry. 2018, 2018, I kind of came back. Um, yeah, I contributed like 15 years ago, um, or like smaller patches um, to the window manager I used at the time to yep. some some other projects. And then um, my uh, my job after I studied was to work on a visualization tool for molecules, which had a oh, dual yeah. license. So I got paid for my work. We sold the tool, oh, but we that. also had a um, an open source project. Yeah. Um, and I would say um, within the company, I was always like an ambassador also to yes. um, keep this as an open source and, and keep the project alive. Um, so that was, I would say, also part of my open source contribution. Yeah, yeah. I, I also have contributed to uh, genetics analysis tools for, uh, and part of it is be, being the ambassador for, open, for free software, for like licensing and for uh, keeping things moving and like and, and giving uh, um, directors and funders like rationality about like why they would support open source in the sciences especially mm -hmm. um, so it's great to hear that like there's lots of open source going on um, so where do you see yourself going for forwards in Inkscape? Still as a user <laughs> yeah um, still as a developer and I think I'm in in good company when I say I still mostly develop Inkscape because it's it's fun. Excellent. <laughs> and um, always a reason to, to come back. Um, and I see that the time I can put into the project varies a lot, just like yeah. job circumstances and so on. Um, but more recently, I also found that 
when I don't have so much time to do that much coding myself, I still find a time to check in and uh, review other people's code, for example. Yes, and I think very, it's also very, very valuable for the project. Yeah. And, yeah. It's, it's less time commitment, um, but you stay connected and there's still a way to, to give back. Yeah. So you find that there is a community that essentially has tasks in it that doesn't require a sort of full time commitment. You can just do a little bit here and there. Absolutely. Um, the project is moving fast, so the more you disconnect, the harder it gets, I have to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, it's also like very welcoming to tune in any time. Excellent. Yeah. Do, do, do you feel like as a pro project, we've sort of matured from the 1.0 onwards? From 1.0 forward? Um, I think 1.0 itself was a big maturation phase <laughs> for yes. the project. Um, and so that was the time I think where we really established a good CI, like automated builds and so on. Yeah. And yes, it has matured. Um, yes. Yeah, because there's been a I lot of changes, yes. right? Like yes. we, we, we moved to GitLab, we moved mm -hmm. to Git yes. at all. We, we have a more centralized development environment and more co cohesive tools. And uh, most a lot of the contributors are really good about contributing improvements to build systems and mm -hmm. No, uh, the infrastructure that allows yeah. other developers to be faster. Yes. Yeah. Um, what would you say would be the uh, the thing in Inkscape that you would you would want to improve if you could? It can either be in Inkscape mm -hmm. the the tool or in Inkscape the project. Mm -hmm. um, for a long time, I think the answer would have been performance. I think we are on a really good track there, so. It, it kind of lowers on the priority list because I yeah. think we are already in good shape or at least on a good track. Um, for let's say for the, the cave mapping, um, if I know we have a really nice extension system, um, but it's a bit disconnected. So for example, the dialogues in the extensions, um, yeah. basically Inkscape pauses, does something external, the panel is independent, um, manipulates the document and then gives it back to Inkscape. And yeah. um, I could imagine a more tight integration, maybe with Dbus, um, maybe with, um, I know there has been a, a Python work in progress at some point uh, to allow you to manipulate the document within Inkscape instead of externally. Yeah. Um, and the next step could be, if, if we go in this direction, um, have custom panels um, like extensions which add panels which allow you to modify in place. In place. Of... So this will basically be widgets that would be would exist inside of Inkscape itself and yeah. not be an external thing. Yeah. Um, but the code underneath them would be Python based. For example, yeah. 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 You, you, you feel like that would open it up more to so that more people could contribute things and integrate them easily. Um, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. I, I, I tend to agree. The, the, the integration with extensions has always been a bit of a... It's it's a difficult process because we want stability at the same time we want flexibility and using a pipe where you just give the document and then the document is returned mm -hmm. is the easiest way to do it. It's very robust, but yeah. it is not the most flexible. Mm -hmm. um, for the for the extensions manager and the open clip art tool, we actually have a user interface. Mm -hmm. It's GTK, the same as Inkscape. It's still a different win window. It's still yeah. a different program essentially that's running mm -hmm. uh, in order for you to do those tasks, and then it gives the gives it back to Inkscape when it's finished. So yeah, thank you so much for your contributions to Inkscape, and thank you for interviewing. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you. It's been a pleasure, and <clears throat> looking forward to more hacking and more Inkscape. Excellent. Let's get back to the hack fest.